Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very special and amazing video. It is based on a trick. So this will cover uh, different type of problems and uh, which, uh, which will give a very good advantage or edge to the students in the JE exam and you can solve those problems in one one line. So I'll recommend everyone to go through this video very carefully and uh, you need to work something along with me uh, while watching the video. So uh, make sure you are sitting with pen paper and uh, you know taking note of some important part of it. And uh, it, will, it will be definitely be very very helpful if such type of question comes in any exam. You can just write the answer in one step. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A body of mass m radius r is placed on a fixed hemisphere of radius capital R. The body is projected from the topmost point with a velocity v0. The body rolls along the hemisphere and uh, at a certain instant this body leaves the contact with the hemisphere. At what angle theta from the vertical this body leaves the contact with the fixed hemisphere assume the body rolls without slipping on the hemisphere. So this is a statement of the problem and another thing uh, which you can see here is this ICM is actually KMR square where small r is the radius of this body and capital R is uh, the radius of uh, this sphere. So center to center distance here is going to be capital R plus R. This center of mass is uh, moving in a radius of R plus R. By the way, this is uh, original work. So I hope you enjoy uh, this and uh, the efforts which is uh, put behind this uh, entire article. So ICM is KMR square here. K is 1. It will behave like a uh, ring or a hollow cylinder. K is a half. It will behave like a disc or solid cylinder. K is 2 by 3. It will be a shell. K is 2 by 5. It will behave like a solid sphere. All right, then towards the end, there are uh, results of uh, ellipsoid also that uh, cross section wise, if uh, it is appearing like this and but actually it is uh, one ellipsoid, then how exactly the answer is going to change? We will discuss that part also. So let's discuss the concept part uh, for this particular case. <clears throat> so first part is when the rolling body leaves the contact with the hemisphere, at that instant, the normal reaction between the body and hemisphere will be zero. So you can see here as uh, uh, as the center of mass is moving in this circular radius of uh, uh, circle of radius of r plus small r, this normal reaction is acting. Mg is acting at the center of mass, and since it is following this circular path, at this instant its velocity is uh, v. Some at some general theta, this velocity is v1. So simply, I can write uh, the net force towards the center is going to be mass into acceleration, where acceleration is going to be v1 square divided by radius of that uh, circular track. So from here, you can see this angle is theta. So net force towards the center is going to be mg cos theta minus n is equal to uh, mass into acceleration is v1 square by r plus r. So this is the equation which I am going to get by using the logic that center of mass is moving in circular path. And if pure rolling is happening, there will be friction up the incline. So it, will, it won't give any component along the radial line. So there is no problem at all. And since pure rolling is happening, V0 is equal to small r omega naught I can write. And similarly, I can write V1 is equal to r omega. R, uh, V1 is equal to r omega 1. Now another part, if we put k equal to 0, then the rolling body will behave like a point mass and it will just translate like a point mass. So if I'm going to put uh, k equal to zero, that means that moment of inertia part is zero. That means it is not uh, having any moment of inertia, means I can treat this rolling body as a point mass. In this situation, the hemisphere will behave like a smooth surface because in case of pure rolling also, I'm not assuming any energy loss. So in order to have zero energy loss, I must take that uh, sphere to be is smooth so icm is zero in that situation third point is the total kinetic energy of a rolling body 
with VCM is equal to small r omega. So kinetic energy is half mvcm square plus half icm omega square and that k is going to be half k plus 1 mvcm square. So this formula I have discussed in uh, my earlier videos also. Here also I have repeated once. So that is uh, valid only if VCM is equal to R omega. If you will remember this, it is going to help you a lot. It will reduce few lines of calculations. So now again, here this is the situation at the instant at some general theta here. I have drawn the FBD. Now I can apply conservation of energy between these two points, initial and uh, at any general point here. So if I apply conservation of mechanical energy, I am taking a reference of potential energy at the bottom of the hemisphere. <clears throat> so I am going to get mg r plus r, this is initial potential energy, plus initial kinetic energy, plus initial uh, finally kinetic energy at general theta, and finally potential energy at some general theta, mg h I can write. So when I simplify this, I am going to get uh, this equation involving v0, v1 and theta and some geometry related terms. At the time of uh, leaving contact, normal reaction is zero. So this equation which I have derived earlier due to circular motion, if I put n equal to zero, I am going to get v1 is equal to r plus rg cos theta. I am going to substitute this value of uh, v1 here and when I simplify this, I am not explaining the calculations, I am going to get cos theta is equal to 2g r plus r plus k plus 1 v0 square divided by k plus 3 g r plus r. This result may look scary to you but trust me, uh, <clears throat> the possible returns it can give will be very very huge and it's it's a very simple result easily you can remember actually i'll tell you how ex uh, how exactly we can remember such results because there are certain uh, very similar type of questions you will see at least uh, 10 12 question i'm going to discuss here based on this but you can use it anywhere so it's my request try to write this formula two three times in your notebook i think after that uh, you can easily remember it you'll develop the logic if you go through this one by one through all the examples you will remember this so here it is uh, another part also i want to discuss if initially that uh, velocity v0 was not given it, it looks horrible because initially this uh, velocity v0 was non-zero if imagine we are just releasing like in majority of the question it will happen the particle is released or body is just released in that case if v0 is zero if you simplify you are going to get uh, cos theta is equal to 2 by k plus 3. So it's so simple. I'll suggest you remember this. Then you can develop the logic of uh, this formula easily. And very easily you can remember that. You can keep it in your uh, mind. So let's discuss the application parts of it. For a particle projected released from the top of a hemisphere. This is a very standard question which you will encounter in work power energy chapter. So for a particle, I'll substitute k is zero. And if initial velocity is zero, I get cos theta is equal to two by three. You can check it is two by k plus three, k is zero, so cos theta is two by three. Now this is a very simple, very standard problem. I think uh, almost 100% of the viewer will be aware of this result. Similarly, if initially velocity was non-zero, if initially velocity was non-zero, in that case, my answer is going to be cos theta is equal to 2rg plus v0 square divided by 3rg. I'm sure you, you can remember this type of uh, result as well. So this r dash is nothing but r plus r radius of this part. Here onwards, I'll be calling it as r dash. So if you remember that main formula, I think uh, you can cover a large number of uh, problems. So this is the case. Next, for a ring projected or released from the top uh, under no slipping condition. So if we are releasing, I am going to put V0 equal to zero. And if I put V0 equal to zero, cos theta is two by K plus three. Here I'm going to substitute K is equal to one. So you'll see two by four, two by four means cos theta is one by two or theta is 60 degrees. Such a nice answer is coming for a ring. And if initial velocity was uh, given in that situation, it is going to be, uh, here you can see it is K plus one 
in this formula you can see here it is k plus 1 v naught square plus 2 g r divided by k plus 3 g r plus r so you can remember it something like this k plus 1 v naught square plus 2 r g divided by k plus 3 r g so this is uh, a <coughs> result for the disk I'm not explaining that. I think uh, you can just easily guess k is 1 by 2, v0 is uh, 0, so I'm going to get 4 by 7. Similarly, if initial velocity is given, I'm going to substitute here 2g radius plus uh, k plus 1 uh, divided by k plus 3 times gr. When you simplify, you'll be getting this as the answer. This is for disc or solid cylinder. That was for ring or hollow cylinder, same results. So you can see wide uh, range of problems we can cover in, in this uh, situation, in this formula itself. Now for a shell projected or released from the top under no slipping, if initial velocity is 0, k is uh, 2 by 3, then cos theta comes as 6 by 11 here. I am using cos theta equal to 2 by k plus 3 formula. Similarly, if v naught is given, I will be writing it as uh, 2gr plus k plus 1 v naught square divided by k plus 3gr. I think now this formula must be coming in uh, in your grip easily. You can remember because same thing we are reading again and again. Values will change and new questions will come. Similarly here, I can write the result for solid sphere. Solid sphere just release v naught is 0, k is 2 by 5. So 2 by k plus uh, uh, 3 so that is going to give me this as the answer 10 by 17 and if initial velocity v naught is given i will be writing it as 2 gr plus k plus 1 v naught square divided by k plus 3 gr on simplifying i will be getting this as the answer now they can give the same problem with the ellipsoid also so i will discuss the moment of inertia of uh, general ellipsoids so suppose there is a ellipsoid here and ellipse wise this equation i can write here as x square by a square plus y square by b square but if you look from this side along the x-axis this is also generating an ellipse and equation will be y square by b square plus z square by c square is equal to one so it is triaxial ellipsoid where uh, all three axes are having different uh, lengths in this case a b c i'm giving so moment of inertia when i write about x-axis I'll be seeing an elliptical plate uh, with the major axis as B and minor axis as uh, C. So its moment of inertia, it will be like a sphere suppose, then it, it, the result also should resemble the idea of a sphere. That's the reason here result is going to come as 1 by 5 m b square plus c square. From this direction, we are going to see b and c. And if b and c are equal, then this result is going to resemble the result of a sphere. That's the reason we are getting similar type of uh, analogy here also. In the previous video, in the trick video also, I have uh, given the similar type of uh, idea. So here also, I think it's very easy to remember i y i y now b will disappear a and c will come so 1 by 5 m a square plus c square similarly i z now c will disappear a and b will come so these are the moment of inertia of a solid ellipsoid similarly for hollow ellipsoid you can write and if any two values are same then we get the result somewhat similar to a shell or a solid sphere so 1 by 3 m b square plus c square that is the value of x you can say a will disappear only b and c will come so b equal to c it will re uh, resemble 2 by 3 mr square which is for shell so that's the reason similarly i can write i y 1 by 3 m i y means b will disappear a square plus c square will come similarly i z i z means c will disappear a square plus b square will come so these are the moment of inertia values for ellipsoid because they could give that they are placing this body on uh, in case of uh, previous hemisphere and you are going to get they are taking b equal to c so you must know that moment of inertia is actually 2 by 5 b square mbv square so k value will become in that case uh, as 2 by 5 
so such type of questions they can ask so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, trick and you can remember this result there are so many advantages in one one line you will be solving answers for such uh, complicated uh, questions and which can definitely give you a huge lead in j advanced type of exam which is a time bound and uh, time is very precious in that exam so remembering such results uh, will definitely give you an edge so i'll keep bringing such videos so if you have enjoyed this video please uh, share it with the other students and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll i'll be coming up with another video very soon very soon thank you